facial recognition, driverless cars, humanoid robots, targeted ads, image classification. You've all heard of these powerful AI applications before. But do you know what do they all have in common? They are all done using the same type of neural network architectures, the convolutional neural networks. Once you understand these, you are ready to dive into this field. Jan de Kuhn introduced the concept of neural networks, called CNNs, in 1998 with the paper Gradient-Based Learning Applied to Document Recognition. It was way later popularized in 2012 by Alex Krzyzewski, winning the ImageNet competition wherein he used the networks to drop the image classification error from 26% using basic computer vision techniques to 15% with CNNs. This was a substantial drop and was considered a turning point in the history of digital image classification. It was popularized much later because of the insufficient power of the GPUs at the time. It is the exponential growth over the years of these GPUs that made the use of deep networks like CNNs possible 13 years later and to this day. Nowadays, CNNs are used in the vast majority of the deep learning applications you can find. But what is it exactly? The general idea is that it is a special neural network for processing data with grid-like topology. We can think of a CNN as a network that is able to detect patterns and make sense of them. This is why it is so useful in image analysis. Basically, you have a sliding window that reduces things down to fewer dimensions while detecting the set patterns. This process is made using four specific types of layers in its architecture. The first layer is the convolutional layer. As the name says, it convolves the image using filters that detects edges or other component of the image. These filters are what we are teaching to the networks during training. The network will autonomously learn filters value that detect important features to match the right output. Then, there's the activation layer, which is a non-linear activation function. It means that there is no learning in this layer, but it is essential in CNNs. The activation function is the non-linear transformation that we do over the input signal. The function used varies with the application, but some of the most ones are the sigmoid, relu and leaky relu shown in this picture. If you are interested, more details about these activation functions are linked in the description. This transformed output is then sent to the next layer of neurons as input. They help to decide if the neuron will fire or not its information to the next layer. This output is then sent to a pooling layer. This pooling layer can be seen between convolution layers in a CNN architecture. This layer basically reduces the number of parameters and computation in the network, controlling overfitting by progressively reducing the spatial size of the network. We generally use max pooling. Like the name states, we'll take out only the maximum from a pool of data. This is done with filters as well, sliding through the input, and at every iteration of the slide, the maximum parameter is taken out and the rest is dropped. For example, it can reduce a 4x4 matrix to a 2x2 matrix, reducing the number of parameters by 4 times. These three layers can be repeated multiple times in a network, which we called conv layers, making the network deeper and deeper, which is where the term deep learning comes from. Finally, there's the fully connected layer, which learns a non-linear function from the last pooling layer's outputs. It flattens the 3D volume that is resulted from the pooling layer into a 1D vector with the same amount of total parameter. Then, we use this vector in a fully connected neural network with one or more layers for image classification or other purposes resulting in one output per image. As you can see in this image, there's a repetition of multiple convolution, activation and pooling layers in a CNN architecture until we reach the end of the network where the fully connected layers are. CNNs are used in a wide variety of applications like facial recognition, driverless cars, humanoid robots, targeted advertisements, image classification and the list goes on. Of course, this was just an overview of the CNNs. I strongly recommend to read the chapter 9 of the book Deep Learning by Jan Goodfellow which is available online for free and linked in the description for more information. Please leave a like if you learned something and subscribe to the channel to not miss any further terms clearly explained.